Hey, welcome back. This is part two on how to use somatic psych theory to listen to your intuition, to follow your heart, to get a deeper connection with your body, starting with learning your own autonomic nervous system. Please check out part one or the rest of this video is not going to make that much sense. So in the last video, I covered an overview of the first part of your autonomic nervous system, your sympathetic nervous system aka your fight flight so your sympathetic nervous system is not supposed to be up and running on high alert 24 7. your brain literally cannot be in that hyper alert fight flight state for too long and this is where the autonomic nervous system steps in through the parasympathetic nervous system this is what brings you back down from high alert and there's two pathways in the parasympathetic nervous system. Both parasympathetic pathways live on the vagus nerve. And when the vagus nerve is activated, you are able to be brought down from that high alert fight flight state. The vagus nerve starts at the base of your neck here, and it stretches down to your lungs, heart, stomach, and diaphragm, and it stretches up to the throat, the ears, and the eyes. Notice that it connects in a lot of the same places where the sympathetic nervous system also lives. That's what makes it easier for it to bring you back down from high alert because it's sending and receiving messages from the same locations. Makes sense, right? This is going to be a quick overview of one of the parasympathetic pathways in your autonomic nervous system, the dorsal vagus. When your autonomic nervous system receives signs and cues from the environment that you might not be safe anymore, it activates your sympathetic nervous system's fight-flight response in hopes that you will be activated and motivated to move towards safety, whatever that looks like. But what happens when you can't fight or flight your way to safety? What happens if you feel trapped in a situation? The dorsal vagus is the oldest and fastest part of the autonomic nervous system. It's had a lot of practice. The dorsal vagus is usually activated when your autonomic nervous system receives signs and cues that not only is it in danger, but it's trapped. I call it shutdown and low power mode because your brain is just trying to keep you safe by putting you in a protective state in order to save your energy and help you survive. The dorsal vagus can activate so quickly that by the time you realize that something triggering might have happened, your dorsal vagus has already stepped in to protect you. Examples of scenarios that could trigger a dorsal vagal shutdown response include chronic child abuse or neglect, abusive school or work environments, abusive relationships, and being systemically oppressed. So dorsal vagal shutdown can manifest as symptoms of depression, being an autopilot, emotionally shutting down in an argument, uh, feeling numb or not feeling anything at all, and dissociation. The next video will cover an overview of the second pathway in the parasympathetic nervous system, ventral vagal safety and connection.